good day to everyone in this video we shall see about the postman tool before we proceed with working with the postman tool we shall see a small brief introduction about the postman tool postman it is an api testing tool api it acts like a interface between a couple of applications and establishes a connection between them thus an api it is a collection of agreements functions and tools that an application can provide to its users for successful communication with another application. We require this API whenever we want to access an application like uh, checking news over the phone or Facebook, Instagram, like this. While using these applications, we need these APIs. This Postman tool, it was designed in the year 2012 by the software developer and entrepreneur Abhinav Astana to make API development and testing straightforward. It is a tool for testing the software of an API. It can be used to design, document, verify, create and change APIs. Postman, it has the feature of sending and observing the hypertext transfer protocol that is HTTP requests and its responses. It has a graphical user interface that is the GUI and it can be used in the platforms like Linux, Windows and Mac. It can build multiple HTTP requests like uh, POST, PUT, GET, PATCH and translate them to the code. This Postman tool, it has a huge user base and it has become a very popular tool because it comes without any licensing cost and it is suitable to be used by the teams with any capacity. There is or the team which contains any number of people, they can use this Postman tool. It can also be uh, downloaded very easily. It can be used very easily by just downloading it. It can be accessed very easily by logging into it, your own account once the installation has been completed in your device. This Postman tool, it allows easy maintenance of test suits with the help of the collections. Users can make a collections of API calls which can have varied requests and subfolders. This Postman tool, it is capable of building multiple API calls like SOAP, REST and HTTP. This Postman tool, it gives the options to import or export the environments and collections enabling it easy sharing for files. With the Postman tool, we can create more than one environment. Thus, it will be uh, thus a single collection. It can be used with various configurations. Like this, we use this Postman tool for various purposes. To start working with the Postman tool, it will be having the sections like header, response, slide bar, builder. You can see that uh, in this image itself. In the header section of a Postman tool, it consists of various options like new, import, runner, which is used to execute tests with the collection runner, then open new, interceptor, sync menus, and so on. It shows the workspace name in the my workspace along with the options to invite uh, the team members. Next in the new menu, it is used to create a new environment or a collection or a request. The import menu, it helps to import an environment or a collection. If we click on import, we can see various options like uh, import from a file or from folder, link, raw text or from the code repository options. Next section is response. A response is what you get back from the server after making an API request. It can be the uh, status code or it can be the response time or response size or the response body like this. Next section is slide bar. Slide bar consists of collections that is uh, which are used to maintain tests containing folders and subfolders and requests like this. And it also contains history that is records of all API requests made uh, that are made in the past and the APIs. Next section is Builder. Builder it is one of the most important section of the Postman application. 
it has the request tab and it displays the current request name. By default, untitled request is mentioned if no title is provided to a request. This builder section, it can also contain the request types like get, post, put and so on and also the URL. A request is executed with the send button. If there are any modification done to a request, we can save it with the save button. The builder section, it has got, it has got the tabs like param, uh, authorization, header, body, prerequisites, tests and settings. The parameter of a request in a key value pair are mentioned within the params tab. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button so that you do not miss any of our updates or videos. Thank you.